In this video, we'll figure out whether K2SO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So for K2SO4, that's potassium sulfate, we need to look at the neutralization reaction that produces the potassium sulfate. So to get potassium sulfate, we have a base and an acid. So this is potassium hydroxide. We add sulfuric acid. We get a salt. That's potassium sulfate and water. Neutralization reaction. So to use the rules, we need to figure the strength out of the base and the acid. So we can use this table right here to help do that. So we're looking for KOH on our table. We know it's a base, we have a metal and a hydroxide group. So we come down here and there's KOH right there, potassium hydroxide. That's a strong base. Since it's a strong base, I'm gonna write SB up here. H2SO4 right here, sulfuric acid. That's a strong acid, right, SA. So we can remember that. So we have a strong base and a strong acid. Now we can use the rules. According to our rules, if we have a strong base and a strong acid, it produces that salt, that potassium sulfate here. The pH is gonna be neutral at seven. So in answer to our question, K2SO4 will form a neutral solution when it's dissolved in water. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.